Hey friends and family everybody, how is everything going? Right now I'm in Southern California. This is finally the video that summarized my first month living as a nomad. As some of you know, I have been preparing for a bike tour and finally I'm biking already. My original plan was just to rent a car and drive along the coast. But two months ago, I met a friend and she said, why don't you bike? So I looked it up and I found that there are so many people doing bike touring and there have been families doing that all together and I was blown away. So I decided to do it. I spent two weeks in LA getting a bike and learning how to fix bikes. Hey! Alright, so this is my bike. I just got it today. Oh. I'm trying to set this bike up so I can bike all the way to San Francisco. This is so cool! Honk at all the LA drivers because they always honk their horns. <laughs> <laughs> ah! After that, I took the train to San Diego. Start biking from Mexico border just in case I bike all the way to the Canadian border. Well, I didn't promise anything. My plan is to bike from San Diego to San Francisco. We'll see how everything goes. The first stretch of my bike tour was extremely strenuous. San Diego is an extremely hilly city. What is supposed to be a three hour long bike ride, according to Google Map, took me seven hours to finish. Very challenging. I don't have a GoPro, so it's kind of difficult to get the footage when I bike, but I did manage to get some footage about my bike tour. Here you go, I hope you enjoy it. And the second thing is I have been doing couch surfing. I've hosted more than 50 people around the world when I was living in Detroit and I've surfed in about 20 cities. So far my couch surfing experience in California has been amazing. Meet some of my hosts and their food. Oh my god, what is it? These are called the almond butter pancakes. Right now I'm making some banana bread. It's right out of the oven. What are you cooking? Vegetable with curry and coconut milk. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. He's always awkward on the camera. <laughs> yeah. This is the home of my host in Carlsbad. Her name is Ashley. I haven't met her. And this is the home of my host in Redondo Beach. His name is Dustin. I also have not met him yet. I'm so grateful for all these amazing people who opened up their homes and embraced me, gave me extra towels, shared their stars with me. The other thing is I have been hugging trees. I went to Joshua Tree. That part of the trip I didn't buy. I drove to Joshua Tree. Joshua Tree. Joshua Tree. The trees are so cute. They're like... Let's talk about food. I've been eating a lot of avocados. Some of you know that I've been practicing capoeira. I started last year and I'm a very inexperienced student. But capoeira is something that I love so much that I want to keep this in my life. I even crashed the demo at San Diego. I went to UCSD and I saw there's a Brazilian party happening and I saw a bunch of people wearing the same capoeira uniform as my school's uniform, capoeira manjinga. I was flipping out happy and I talked to them and asked three batuta, he said, or do you want to join us for the demo? And I did. Here's what happened. As you can see, I'm still very new to this martial art. 
but I love it so much. And if you know anyone, and if you know any events going on, hit me up. I would love to connect with more awesome capoeiristas, play with them, learn from them, have fun. So these are the, some of the highlights from my first month living as a nomad. What I've learned is that we really don't need much to be happy. I have two t-shirts left with me, two hoodies. I gave away the jeans. Life can be as complicated as you want it to be, and it can be as simple as a drop of water. So I hope you enjoy watching this video, and I hope wherever you are right now, stay warm, or if it's too warm, don't get sunburned. And I'm sure I will see you somewhere in the world.